Welcome back to Workers and Resources. We continue our low tech sprawl with Sejov finally receiving some population. Our coal town, Almavari, growing and presumably finishing its coal mine soon. And today, I think we have to go and set up medical university town which should help us grow more efficiently and probably deal with settlements that have a little bit less infrastructure than you would expect a little bit more easily so we'll continue running at full speed ahead our scrapping facility should finish construction soon. There's not much to it. Oil price going up. Uh, I will restrict our fuel imports, I guess. Make them last as long as possible. We have a decent storage. So, should be able to get through that raised price phase with no problem. Let's check on the coal mine. All resources present, only 1,300 workdays left. Lots of foreign workers being sent there from the Nega Customs House to finish the construction. I will need to employ some, some waste trucks in this area. So we will copy the settings, which basically just says everything goes to and from the customs house, except for mixed waste and hazardous waste. We'll put that on this, set the range to two kilometers, I guess one kilometer would be, uh, two kilometers is fine. They can help each other a little bit. We will need some snow plows, but more importantly, some trucks dealing with the waste in the area. Hello Nico, welcome back to the stream. So, we will grab, I think, two waste trucks and two skip loaders. We will grab I think a water and a sewage truck as well. Actually, all of this should go to the other customs house. Because it is closer and we don't need to travel towards Cornhole. That makes no sense. We should probably start making our own water as well and distributing it. Alright. But for now... This will be enough. All trucks that we ordered are here, I think. Yes. So I will get a new water truck, a sewage cistern, and two snowplows. And that should handle this area. Make sure that the snow is cleared off the main road. And this area is pretty much taken care of. There should be no issues whatsoever. We pretty much oversupplied vehicles to the area. But they can also help with Krabosia and Vavkovic. And this customs house should <clears throat> require a little bit less effort in keeping things running. So hopefully that will help. I think we will still need water and sewage. No, we have that set up, never mind. I was thinking of setting up water and sewage for the coal mine, but I already did. The shop ran out of goods. I don't know which goods, but should be fine. Maybe, maybe meat for a short moment. No. That is two tons less. I don't know what the issue was. Well, 
As I said, continue work on the coal mine. Maybe expand upon the town. We'll have to see if once all the houses are filled with people, um, if we have unemployment, or if we indeed need more people working in the coal mine. We can also start construction of the train aggregate loading station since the coal mine is now closer to finishing and that will allow us to set up probably a dedicated route, most likely just use the rail distribution office for export and we can use a dedicated route to shift it inside the Republic or also use the rail distribution office for that right now. We'll see. Lots of very slow trains running around. We like it. Our oil field is operational, as we saw last time. And we're also working on a new and improved large farm. With the technical service in this area being underway, roads should always be nice and cleared so that a fire in the new farm should not cause any problems and the fire truck should be able to get there relatively quickly. We're currently experiencing reconstruction in the fire station so I can't buy another vehicle it looks like. Or did I open... No, I can't buy anything here. Okay, but now I can. I want a better fire truck. Actually, I just want a faster one. 80 kilometers is okay. 62 is slightly too slow. I'm gonna get a newer one. We'll have to set the limit to 10 again when the vehicle arrives. Then we'll scrap the other one when the scrapping facility is set up. Make sure not too many people work here. It would be overkill. We'll have to relay all of our fields, set them up anew. Should be fine. I also have to... Well, I can connect this road again since nothing really changed. We decided to put the grain silo in a different area. And I guess we could also connect Premo, the customs house, up to this area if we wanted to. For now, we're gonna work on the farm, work on the coal mine, make sure it's operational. A thousand workdays left. Constant supply of workers. Will take a while. There's no machinery that can help with this. Unlike the train aggregate loading station, once workers start working here, there will be cranes incoming. And this might even finish before the coal. The coal mine. So, let's see. If everything works and we have coal ore in our republic, only useful for export at the start. Later on we will probably set up a coal ore processing plant and then we will have coal ore turned into coal and available in our republic by train. Which means we will probably have a coal unloading station in the area and then instead of importing coal from the customs house we can use our own coal and then export excess. But at the start, I will just export the coal ore instead of doing anything fancy with it. And we'll see how fast our production is in that regard. In Zezhov, the construction of the scrapping facility is finishing up. We also have our distribution office that will handle the resources in the scrapping facility. And for that we will need to start out with probably one Kavatal and one open hull trailer, uh, truck to handle the steel, mechanical and electronic components being created. And probably also get a dump truck to make sure that materials in there don't um, fill up. And maybe also a 
a waste truck. So, once these truck trucks arrive, we can set whatever needs to be transported, but I already know that we want it to be delivered to the vehicle repair station and the warehouse. There's basically mechanical and electronic components that we will reclaim. And the other one is the repair station next to the train station. Similar reasons, similar transportation logic. This will all handle resources in excess of our imports, so if we are scrapping more than we are than we have set our imports, we will be receiving more materials. And we might have to export the excess. So this should fill it up to 90%. And then we don't have to import those materials anymore. We also have to haul steel directly to the buildings. But not um, mechanical and electronic components directly to the buildings. For that we have warehouses. So the repair warehouse, the the um, the depot repair warehouse, which I still need to set the resources up for. One, two, three, four, five warehouse resources, and then only steel. This will allow trains to get repaired. Shouldn't need any electricity. Time to check road priority signs, hello Tillman. I think I kept a good track on that. Nothing here. I don't care about the gravel roads. Whatever's on the gravel roads is fine. They are slowing down there already. Um, this is fine. I guess this one we can add, but they slow down for the bus stop anyway. This one is new for the gas station. This one is new for the construction offices. This one is new because of fuel and oil. This one is new because of fire access to the oil extraction. This is new because we got a new farm being set up. And then down here, this road seems fine. So, that'll start with handling like the resources, but we still need something for metal scrap and aluminum. Waste trucks can handle that, but dump trucks are more efficient, they are faster. And We're gonna go for the ZIL-133 dumper, I think. And last but not least, the mixed waste. So we do need a waste truck after all. We'll choose... I really wish I could see the color difference more easily. We'll choose the white truck with the red... The red... Uh, what's it called? Loading platform? I don't know. To deal with the mixed waste that we can't get. And I do want to collect resources from vehicles, otherwise they're just going to turn everything into scrap matter, uh, into mixed waste. So they are supposed to slowly disassemble the vehicles and get whatever materials they can from it. First vehicle to be scrapped is going to be the old fire truck. It's been in service for 12 years. It's been recently repaired, I guess. No matter. It'll go to the scrapyard. And once we have some excess workers here, they can walk into the site. 
and start dismantling it. But right now we're just collecting vehicles to be scrapped. The other four vehicles that need to be scrapped are the four microbuses over here. They are also 12 years old, also been in service for a while. And we'll also relocate them into the scrapyard. There's two workers in here right now, so I guess scrapping will happen as soon as people see vehicles come into the facility. The research of the secret police has just finished. We will set that up momentarily inside Volcanedeni. And that will deal with our university education. But let's check on the scrapping first. The vehicles are coming in right now. And the fire truck should be... shouldn't be... well, the fire truck already arrived. We'll get 1.5 tons of scrap metal. 5 tons of steel, 2 thirds of a ton of mechanical components, some electronics and some mixed waste. It'll take a long time. Turning it into a heap of scrap, uh, into a heap of waste is easier. But since I set up a dedicated town for this, we have, to, we have a lot of time. We'll also be able to slowly start replacing our existing trains and turning them into faster trains. So they won't be crawling along anymore, they will be driving at 100 kilometers an hour. Okay, but for now, let's set up our secret police. And I only need a small one, don't need to have anything ridiculous in this area. It will need a road connection though. And it might want to deal with Nega or Almavari. I don't know if it's going to be in range. But we'll put it right next to the prison. of that and to satisfy Tillman we're also going to fix the intersection that has been created replace fire truck with new one don't want the old one to uh, the thing to burn down I already bought a new one manually so we got a new one that can drive 80 kilometers an hour here instead of 62 and then I just pulled the old one out I didn't use the replacement, I bought a new one and then pulled the old one out so there wasn't a small gap of like... There's no fire truck here, let's burn something down right now. I don't need two fire trucks in there, one will be sufficient. I think. I can increase the amount of workers but I think 10 will extinguish any fire. And as evident by our incinerator, the fire truck works. There was a fire here, burned down like to only 10% wear and tear, so not much was happening. The main problem that I was having was that I think during winter the firefighting vehicles might not get here in time, so I have opted to build a new technical service so I can send the fire trucks over cleared roads instead. So all we're gonna do is get two snowplows for the area and they can clear this area up to the town, kilometer range. And that should keep all of the important buildings in good firefighting coverage. Getting a few workers here, getting a little bit of steel. I guess what we also can do is we can move excess amounts of steel to our steel storage for construction material. So that is another option that we can do. Instead of loading it from here we can dump steel into this. And let the game decide where it should go. And next up, we have to plan out this area that um, 
somewhat looking scary face, I guess. We do have an option for the trains to head that way, which goes further up north. Trains may go through here, which is going east. Or that way, which I guess they can cross through here and go southeast. So this is kind of a kind of a hub area. Might be might be a um, good place for a tr passenger train station. I don't know. There's no water nearby, so handling sewage in a larger area here will be a little bit problematic, but we can probably trench a sewage pipe through this gap into this lake if we wanted to. Transporting the sewage with water trucks could be a little bit difficult going to the customs house. Or we could just have a sewage unloading station next to the lake and then route all of the sewage trucks in here. So, since this is supposed to be a relatively really large town, well, really large for whatever we have right now, I think a full-sized bus platform is in order. I don't know if this, like, we basically need enough workers to handle the medical university, which is, wow, well, did they reduce that count? I thought they could have way more workers. That's only 300 workers for the medical university. Well, then I guess we don't need the largest bus platform if it's such a small building, but we still have to plan for, I think, a train station because there were a few mining spots around. So we could send work excess workers from here to mine in the surrounding areas if the villages and towns can't provide enough workers to them. Um. So Brospin is going to be our town. Didn't randomly generate a name, but I placed the bus and uh, the bus platform first, and I guess we can go with that. Next up, I think we should also probably put in a passenger platform. For the trains. So the train line will run through the train station and past it, depending on what the trains want to do. And then the train will split up either here, here, or in front of the train station, here and here. So we will have like four, uh, four junction, uh, two junctions going into four different directions. Might be overkill. That's just for the future. We don't need to set those junctions up yet. Just need to keep them in mind. I will redo the train line so it is a little bit um, following the train a little bit more. I just wanted to have a smooth rail line out of the train station in that direction. And then I guess
and that way we can have a rail junction coming down this way and this way in the future. And this wiggly part, I guess I could straighten that out. I really want this to be a little bit more pronounced, so we'll make this corner arc go a little bit in that direction. Four degrees and then come around here. Yes, yes, like that. That way we have a corner off point from here and one from here, I think. And whatever happens after the train station, we can plan out later, like a corner going around here with a triangle junction point. And we also need a passing point for the train station on this side, where the train tracks can just run through without stopping at the station. Something like that. <clears throat> also, potentially you need an unloading platform for goods, but that will probably happen over here. Or maybe this area. Not directly next to the city. And yeah, planning wise, this... This will focus around the medical university to improve the life of our citizens. I'm probably going to flatten this area again. At least where I want... I guess I wanted to build the, um, the micro district, so 400 by 400. Maybe we can have the medical university inside of a micro district kind of setup. micro district right 400 by 400 in game terms that is um, quite large Okay, that um, that would be something. Could have the medical university in the middle, and all the residential buildings spread out around it, with like sh some shopping opportunities in the corners. Use that as a baseline. I think the main road, what I saw in like the videos that I watched in regards to how urban planning was done, the main roads were like at 45 degree angles. So we would have a, a main road go like that. The medical university could, could attach to that. So our incoming road would basically hook up to set diagonal road here. And the other roads are support roads, gravel roads. They could also be asphalt. But this is going to be the main road through this area. And then we could have another diagonal road on this side, I guess. Turning this into kind of like a main junction. I don't know if that means we should not have these other intersections here. And then we have another district on this side next to the train station, between the train station and the between the train station and the bus platform. 
there could be commercial commercial things. This is all just like eyeballing, thinking about it, what could be. Could be a roundabout, yeah. I am worried about roundabouts though. Okay. Last construction phase of the coal mine. 160 days, then it's running. We can assign the loading platform already, where you will be tasked to load coal ore. If there is at least 10%, which would be 200 tons of coal ore. We have a carry capacity of 300 tons, so it needs to be 15, which would be a full train. And then it can be sold at Customs House. Maybe a roundabout, yeah. I don't know. I'm also thinking a bridge of the main road across. For a micro district, this is looking like excessively large. I only need 300 people, but a pre-build, but there's only 300 people is like two of these buildings. <laughs> That's way too much planning for this town, really. But I wanted something a little bit larger here, so we'll have, we'll probably have the, hmm, we'll probably have something else then. What else could we have? I guess like it could be workers that go out into coal mines, but that doesn't feel right. It should be villages and towns outside that deal with the coal mines. If you're dealing with the medical university, I guess you could also deal with a food factory and a distillery. Maybe. There will probably be a bridge here. Going across the train tracks diagonally. Flattened it ever. I haven't flattened anything yet. I'm just going with whatever I'm seeing, I guess. Bus platform? Yeah. I mean, I did bring foreign workers here. Also, they couldn't use any machinery for the coal mine. There are being there are buses being carried here with foreign workers at all times. And we need like sixty more workers to finish this, so this bus will not actually finish the construction by itself. It's very slow. We are slowly building up the population here to actually run the coal mine though. And if we need to, we can get some more population. That is in the realm of, the, of possibilities. Like I can hire some more migrants, I guess. Let that develop. can also show new slim one-way roads. I don't know if I want to deal with those right now. They seem very particular. I think they are a little bit too slim.
thinking of cutting down the intersection to something like that instead. Which could also still be a roundabout, but just for planning. Then the medical university will be attached to the main road in the center. Taking up a considerable amount of space here. I guess we could also go for the attachment to the platform. We need to relocate our groundwork vehicles so we can flatten and bulldoze as we need. Probably also set up a gas station here so the vehicles don't have to drive far to refuel. The local distribution office can handle that. And yeah, let the, let the bulldozers get driven over here and get two excavators as well. So we have a support road for the buses to pick a direction, wherever they need to go, either this way or down here. We have a main road this way, we have a main road this way, these are all support roads. The medical university will probably be in this area next to the bus platform, and there might be some... Um, Hall of Residences for students coming from other areas via train or via bus. I would also like to design this area with no large shopping center. So I don't want to go ahead and say, okay, large shopping center, done. Since this is still the concept of a micro district, I want to have like two of the smaller shopping centers with a single warehouse attached to it. Inside the district itself. This is what I'm thinking of. Can you not go refuel there? Can you go... Mm. No. Alright. So yeah, this is the district I had planned out with potential for more stuff around it, but I really like the idea of going with the brick flats again. We could also consider these, since they are a little bit more reasonable for this, probably. The only problem here is that they only have footpaths and road connections on the same side, so it's slightly harder to make sure they have a an access point to the inside we would need to leave a gap and then either have a road here or a footpath hello bowen welcome back to you too thank you these ones have like footpath access everywhere and they're easy easier to set up
single lo lane roads look fun. They require a lot more brain power, I think. I'm not really thinking about traffic right now. I was thinking of if I was to do a personal vehicle run again and I had like, let's say, a one-way road here. Let's say I had a one-way road here. Then we had an incoming road somewhere here and an incoming road somewhere here. And you wanted to make sure they both merge into a single road. I was wondering if this would allow them to merge cleanly without, once vehicles enter from this side, also slowing down the vehicles coming from this side. I haven't tested that yet. But yeah, I'm not focused on too much like traffic management right now. That's why I haven't considered doing anything with like one-way roads yet. Mostly doing trains, I guess. I really wish we could place them overlapping like that. So if I place them like that, it's... nope, too far away, never mind. Hmm. Let's start from the other side. Also, I still need to flatten all of this before I start placing any buildings. Let's do that right now. downward slope. It's gonna be slightly annoying. I probably need way more excavators if I wanted to keep doing this. Eh, we'll get there. Well, this is going to be very hard to see. Makes me wish I go back to building without flattening everything. If 
But I think once everything is flattened out, I think it'll probably much be much easier. I guess we can just flatten up towards the road instead of flattening everything to the same level. We don't have to overdo it. I will flatten this terrain underneath this road though, so we will have to remove that one. There's a footpath there. Removed. Okay. come down here. We'll make sure it doesn't look like that though. Let's move out the edges a little bit. I think that's still wonky. Maybe I should, yeah, I, I will probably make this a little bit um, shorter of a drop. Like, let's say here. Oh, wait, that's, a, that's an elevation. That's a rise, not a drop. that a little bit. Actually, I think that's probably pretty good. I got my elevations confused. I thought we were lower down, but this is actually the elevated part. Oh, that's why I got confused. This is also elevated. More elevated. Yeah, I thought we were... I thought we were going up on that side. Okay. Medical University in this area.
Now will this area need a large heating plant? Judging by the few amount of workers, it shouldn't. Judging by the size that I'm going for, it probably should. I think we're going to start out with a normal small heating plant and then expand upon it if we actually need to. This might just be a large looking town. Maybe I'm going to go for the smaller buildings so I can spread out more. I go for the medium sized ones instead. Are those five story talls? They are. One, two, three, four, five. These are only four stories tall. These are also only four stories tall. I'm gonna go for the medium sized houses, I think, and try to get 300 people here. Well, it's still not going to be a lot of buildings. Our um, scrapyard, I think, has more people. Let's start from this area. This is now all nice and flat-ish. And they have footpath connections going into the inside. They are slightly asymmetric. I am flipping them around and that leaves like a footpath gap here. So we're gonna encircle part of this area with a few houses. And make sure to leave a small gap here for a footpath. This is probably going to be a park area. I think the shopping center area will be in this corner and there will be one up here. I was thinking maybe this corner and this corner, but I've already started placing residential buildings down here, so what can you do? We're going to go for another small shopping center with a warehouse. Shopping center attached to the main road and the warehouse on the back side. And there will be two of them in this area. So this town will definitely also need its own distribution office handling that. I really wish the resource overlay wasn't always in the way. I've been asking for that to be removed. But when I remove it, I also can't see if I can do a connection. Conundrum. Maybe I should just hook up the warehouse here on a dedicated road leading across. Or oh, have no, I have the warehouse in the in the triangle part instead. Let's try placing the warehouse first. I haven't tried that yet. That might work. Let's not have the warehouse on the main road, but let's have it on the side road in the corner. And then the small shopping center somewhere here. this have a road come out here oops that's not the road tool uh, that's not the clone tool that is that's like for refrigerated deliveries and then it can cut back over here So, shopping area. 
I don't know if that's going to be in range. Uh, since this is 400 meters, probably not. 300, no, it will be in range. If we add footpaths and um, and or asphalt roads. I will actually leave a lot of room this time, which means one extra block between everything. Because I want this to look a little bit more open. can reach everything. Very good. It's like the first residential area. There's gonna be tree lines behind the houses uh, on both sides of the footpath. There's gonna be a park area behind the building I think with some sport facility or facilities. But we still need a pub which can be in the middle, like on this side here. High traffic area. Need to abide by the elevation scheme though. There's a lot of stuff to think about now. Doing micro district layout, make it look pretty and build a larger settlement. But I think this can be done with um, a small heating plant even. Because the houses barely have any requirement, they only require 3 cubic meters per house. The medical university requires 21 cubic meters. Okay, that's a, already over... It. that's a tenth of the heating tank gone. We've scrapped our fire, fire truck, we're now on to micro buses. I need to set up the vehicle replacement. So currently we have the, RT, the RTO Lux as a vehicle. 85 kilometers an hour, 40 passengers. I think we can swap that for another 85 or higher um, speed bus of similar capacity. Oh, we have that over here for comparison. Cool. And it has to be something that isn't a uh, US currency. So probably the Chev 11 M3. That's kind of my go-to bus. Dump trucks should be faster, if possible similar capacity, uh, 10 tons at 70 kilometers an hour. Would at least like 80 kilometers an hour and 12 tons, this one, ZIL 133. 
The rest is slower, so I can go for that one. Or I can go even faster at a reduced capacity. I think we're going to go for the 12 ton. Uh, police car, we're going to stick with what we have. This one, we already made a choice for the MZ504 open. For now. W50 crane, we're going to stick with that. We're also going to replace all our other cranes with W50s. We're going to go mass on cheap vehicles. So the V3S is also going to become W50. Garbage truck, open hull. These are all vehicles in the maintenance construction offices. They will still stay the same. The concrete mixers will all become JE300s, I think. This one. MZ504, same one. Next page, stays the same. This one turns into a Chev as well. Ambulances stay the same. This all stays the same. The refrigerated truck stays the same. Our snow plows all become the KAZ256. Cistern will also turn all of them into W50s. These are the smaller refrigerator trucks for villages, that is fine. The fuel trucks will also turn into W50s. Those are some smaller open hull trucks, I don't even know what we have those for. Oh, those are lumber, those are um, woodcutter trucks. Um, those are fine, like, we don't need to change them at all. We could go for something that is cheaper. We don't have that much throughput. Gonna go for the ZIL-133 with crane, I guess. No, cheaper, not more expensive. Go for the... It's slightly more expensive, but it will be a dedicated wood-cutting vehicle. Go for that. Switch trucks, go for that. Water trucks, go for the T148 as well. Small dump trucks for the maintenance. Fire trucks in ladder and non ladder variety open trucks. They will all stay the same. ZIL133 dump trucks, those are the newer ver variety that we want to use because they're slightly faster. What are these ones used for? Foreign workers in the. Oh, those are buses that are running from the customs house to the incinerator, back and forth. They've been running quite a while. At some point this will become obsolete, but for now, I guess they can get uh, replaced with the existing vehicles, so we don't need to change anything there. Harvesters. We have better harvesters available now. CK4 was the old one. CK5 will be the new one. No, we're gonna go for the Combine East. Microbuses. I think this is part of a, yeah, this is part of a demolition office, so for the free demolition office. This will be replaced by a shaft. Don't have any newer rollers. Prison buses will remain the same. Fire truck replacement already said that. And at some point, we'll get newer trucks and worry about that later. We should have our new demolition office now. Where is our free demolition office? This is our proper one. Hazardous waste. Mixed waste. Well, I guess, yeah, sure. We'll only use domestic workers for demolition, I guess. And the rest... Explosives... Mm, let's use that custom house. Explosives, construction waste and metal scrap goes to the border for now, since we can't do anything with it. I do have a free demolition office though, somewhere. It's somewhere in the snow, I know it. There it is. We're going to relocate all of you. Into the new demolition office and add a bunch more vehicles for removing and moving scrap. 
And also a truck to move the machinery around. So the excavator doesn't have to drive by itself. So we'll need another... I did have an... I did have one vehicle that was actually in storage for... as a replacement vehicle. One... Oh no, I... Yes, I did have one of these. Where is it? Can you tell me? List of vehicles. Open hall. Road depot. You're gonna be part of the demolition office now. We might replace the bus right now. The microbus is um, maybe not suitable anymore for demolition work, since we might have demolition work that requires a lot of workers. So we'll trigger a scrapping of the vehicle right now. Every vehicle that we do scrap needs to go to the scrapyard. I don't want automatic scrapping, but I do want to replace the microbus with a Chev 11 M3. So this microbus from the demolition office is now heading off to the scrapping facility. At only nine years of age. Lots of fires while I was talking. A um, few more garbage trucks, waste trucks of the blue variety. So we have a six total of six. And I think that should be enough. Can't get anything else, I guess. Don't know why I... Oh, covered hull if I want to use dynamite. Yeah, let's get one covered hull truck, I guess, for transportation of dynamite, if we want to use it. Or explosives, rather. Looks like the coal mine is operational. <laughs> We've already filled up on coal ore. After the coal mine got constructed, it appears we have a lot of workers all of a sudden. Um, so, we looks like we need a few more, a few more wagons. Let's see how much we get for half a train. We're gonna add at least 5 more, probably 15 more, if we're producing that much. And yeah, I'm just using 1 megawatt right now, so quite the high consumption. 2000 rubles for half a train, so 4000 for a full one. But it's filling up really quickly, so I think this will be worth it. We will have to get another train. We're earning decent amounts of money. I say we switch. We start switching over to the DR class V100, 100 kilometers an hour. New budget train of the Republic. That also means for future vehicle replacements, this will be the replacement train for our locomotives. And obsolete ones are supposed to go to the scrapyard. No ships, no aircraft, no helicopter, no personal vehicles, just road vehicles and trains for us. You're gonna go to the customs house and back to the, well, unloading at the distribution office and then back to the depot. You're only going to load cargo wagons and we will get 15 15 hopper cars. And we're out of money. I have 13 now, I think. 4, 7, 10, 13. I need two more. Okay. You will run that, probably twice. And then you will join the rail distribution office. And we might even buy another train for the rail distribution office. I didn't expect to make that much coal ore, to be honest. But I'm also not sad about it. 
This is producing a lot of mixed waste. Uh, I don't think it has a factory connection. What does it produce? Cons a lot of construction waste. Yeah, a lot of construction waste. If it has a factory connection, we can tell it to filter out said waste. So then we can tell it to recycle for us. We're outside the map border. Why did I plan this this way? That's unfortunate. We might still be able to get that in place, or we can put it on the other side to be picked up from the road, I guess. Let's try it from over here. Oh yeah, that will work. We'll just sneak the factory connection in across the border a little bit. And then a distribution office will have to handle the waste transportation. But that way we can filter out biological waste, construction waste into different containers and handle them separately, like with the gravel recycling plant that I was talking about when I talked about our gravel processing. But this area doesn't really have any room anymore, so we could have a village just handling recycling tasks in the future. We should have gotten our new cargo wagons, right? Looks like it made a delivery, so you can do that once more. I assume you didn't get all of them. Yes. But with the next delivery, your line will also end in the rail distribution office. That coal mine is fast. 69% quality. Might need more trains. Oh my god, they unload slowly. Might have to send the coal or to the other customs house. Have a connection over here so it goes back and forth between that singular customs house instead. Could make a dedicated train line for that. And then I could also say, you always pick that lane, and then that lane is designated for just this train. I don't know. It's a consideration. Right now we're going to try Rail Distribution Office. Um, where's the train? Did I miss it? Well, that one's pulling a bunch of cars. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. But that's with the old trains. We will probably get newer ones. Also, you can turn around and end your route in here instead, since you're now part of the crew. So I guess this might be a little bit longer, but this is only 107 meters, two, four, six, eight cars. Could probably get a few more. It's going to get quite busy at the customs house. So, we have a lot of coal ore being made. It's not being turned into coal on site, which is probably a mistake. We can still change that, take out the conveyor belt and put the coal ore processing here, but we did need two facilities to handle this output, probably even three. 
Okay, that road is connected. That needs to be built up. This is filling up rapidly. I think this will need a dedicated route to this customs house. Won't be possible otherwise. So we'll have another... Another platform here for a train. And that then only goes... Back and forth. A single train, maximum cars, like 155 meters. I know it could go longer, but this is, I think, the maximum I would be willing to do here. And then it just runs back and forth between this customs house with the option for other trains to also go here on the regular route. And this one has its specific waiting platform, and then the return route is always this one. So I guess this platform would then be unavailable for anyone from this side. And no one can enter here, but we can still leave if we need to. Yeah. Let's use that and see if the construction, tra um, construction trains can build that or if I need to open up this, this line, this route. Probably have to pull out a bunch of um, a bunch of hopper cars. Coal ore price is going down. I wonder why. Well, this should also keep the coal price down for imports, hopefully. Yeah. Let's get another train. Another DR class V100. And we'll tell it to go to the rail distribution office, load hopper cars until fully loaded, and then come back to the depot, and then we'll set up our own train route. already moved. Didn't see it go through, but apparently it did. Go here, load any cargo wagon that is a hopper car, and bring it back to the depot. Load until full. That should draw out as many hopper cars as possible for a train length, I think. And if it draws out more, then we can bring some back, I guess. Didn't know we would make that much. Holy hell. Uh, probably have to switch that over to coal instead of coal ore. And we don't need a coal ore processing area. See what you can pick up, I guess. No, you didn't pick up anything. I told you to wait until fully loaded. Let's see. Each of a car.
12 meters. So 120 for 10, 132, 144 for 12, plus 14. That would be too much. So it's 11 hopper cars, 132 plus 14, so 146. So I guess we're gonna buy. No, I should really. I should get those hopper cars out of here. I'm gonna tell it to, to stop loading coal and gravel. So this will be the last run. Yeah, I could also send them to the depot, but I will just tell them to stop loading and then grab them from grab them from the depot with the other train that already has the route set up. So we don't have to sit, babysit those trains right now. Construction train collision? Oh no, waiting for a long time. Where are you trying to go? Here. Uh, right. Those are... Not mixed signals. And then there's an intersection here. And that should allow the train to come in here and build. So this has 12 cars, that means our other train can now go and pick up 11 of those. And once it's done, we will probably not pick up coal ore with the distribution of this. If a single train is not enough to handle the output... Oh, you're not picking that up. Why not? Okay, change of plans, I guess. We're gonna do what you said and pick up a train that has the cars on it. Call ore. That's the small train, but whatever. No, that's also the large train. You are gonna go to the depot, and you, I guess, can run a coal ore run once. construction trains through on this side as well. So that's too long. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven cars, yep. And you can head back to the distribution office with that single car. And you will get a new train route. Can't run it yet, but soon. Coal ore from that loading platform directly into the customs house. And yeah, the coal ore processing facilities would probably make sense. If this doesn't stem the throughput, we will cut the conveyor belt. Well, I guess prepare the processing facilities and put those in the, in the area as well. It's not assigned for construction yet. Let them build these two, I guess. Hmm. 
Hmm. I could have a dedicated oil train as well. And then route it over the unloading platform. Yeah, the waste trains are starting to get in the way a little bit. But I think they're still making good money. Plus all of the recycled material will eventually be able to maybe turn into some more profit. Oh. Uh, farm construction. Seems to be done. We'll have to connect our rail line. We'll have to relocate all vehicles and demolish this basically. So the rail construction vehicles will also have to come here and remove all of this. And we basically flatten this. Get the factory connection out of here. This time I did leave enough space for solid fertilizer to eventually be stored here. So we have a, the option for a large dump to store fertilizer in the area. Mm, could be connected to the main road now. We're gonna we're gonna hook it up like so. And yeah, the machinery will all be relocated into the other farm, which I guess is currently being reconstructed. We should stop that. So they don't waste materials on it. Oh, they're already finished. Never mind. Okay, relocate all of you to the new farm. There's liquid fertilizer in here which the fuel distribution office will have to take care of. No more import from the customs house for now. Do take anything from the farm and put it into the new and improved farm instead. That should hopefully empty out that farm as much as possible. And we also have to yeah, bring fuel over there it looks like. I thought the farming vehicles would have refueled before leaving, but apparently that is not the case. So next year we'll be able to, if we want to have a lot more fields, we do have to hook up the rail line for it though, but we have a little bit of time to contemplate, deconstruct things, make it happen. We also need to um, disable that, load fertilizer, don't unload, unassign you, and drop it in here instead. Empty out the fertilizer as well. I don't have a distribution office for fertilizer. I guess the distribution office for fuel could do that, since it's currently not that busy. Plus the fertilizer needs to go into that storage in the future. But I guess only that fertilizer which we are making ourselves, so... If at some point we're, we have a food factory and a distillery and we filter out biological waste, then we can make our own fertilizer. Or if we ever research um, recycling for our citizens. So liquid fertilizer is out, and I think the solid fertilizer is like gone as much as we can get it. That's fine. So we're gonna remove that now. <clears throat> Starting farm also gone. Oh yeah, uh, we could also get more people in the rail construction office again. That would help. 
That would reduce the amount of people going to the bus stop, of course. But we don't have that many building tasks on um, happening right now, so it should be fine. All well, secret police probably got built, speaking of construction tasks. There's a lot of secret agents in here. Let's reduce that down to like five to start out with. And I would like to start with a minimum loyalty of 35. So whenever you know what loyalty you have, you can kick yourself out. And we're gonna start with the cheapest of vehicles. Well, not the, mo not the cheapest, but the cheapest variety, I guess. The Trabant that is in the combi would be cheaper. Okay, we'll be able to finish that relatively soon. And then they can work on the rail demolition next to the farm. That'll take a while. One more construction task. And then we should be able to run our train, I think. Maybe two. We'll see. to finish and then we're good to go and see if that can keep up and it should also be able to go out for refueling and come back so shouldn't be a problem so our large demolition office already assigned to maximum range it is not we could demolish these with um, Explosives, I guess. Would speed things up, but we're also not in a hurry. It's also not making a nice sound effect or anything. So I don't know. We'll have to redo the vehicles that we have. We have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times four, so twenty-eight. We have thirty slots. So five tractors, seven harvesters ish would be twelve and then trucks and then adjust as needed. But only if we really start with like um once we have the fields in place, which will be next year, I think. I have to think about a layout which covers all of this area here. Brospoon is also still in planning. Rail construction is now over here for some reason. I haven't finished this one. Please prioritize that one, thank you. And also that one. Prospeen is a, a slightly longer task. So, this area. So kin kindergarten is like, I was estimating that 5% of the population is the amount of children you will have. So if you have 300 people, you have like 15 children. So I still think that a small kindergarten is enough for this area. 
especially since we probably are going to set up more than one if the need arises rather than a large one because that will fit more with the idea of a micro district. I also said that I wanted to leave a little bit extra room so I could plant trees around the footpath so I will also do that. So this is like the education area, I guess, taking care of school, kindergarten and university. Then we have our shopping center. We still need a pub. That one was scheduled to come out in the central part i guess like next to the university so i guess it could also be a cafe it does need to work when it's cold though What else? Hospital. We want to go for a proper hospital. It feels oversized. We're going to micro district it and, and put one clinic in and then have the potential for a second clinic. This will also need waste handling, but I think we can put that on the main road areas. to put it inside here. I think probably garbage collection on the main road will work. Then a larger garbage collection point next to the university. Across the street. Also, make sure no one moves into this area yet if we ever finish a building. Mm. 
another fire in the incinerator, because why not? That's why it's called the incinerator. Damn. Railroad got constructed. Let's send the train out. First stop is unreachable. Oh, right. Oh. Now this part is becoming the problem. And that rail line is also needed for refueling the train, so we will have to put in the corner here. signals planned but maybe I'll leave room for one signal here just in case I need it yeah then I have the option to signal that. The need arises. And you are not necessary because you are all at junction and the signals will be outside of the junction. Once those two rail lines have been constructed, we will be able to run our trains. Or, oh, well, train, singular, for coal or export. That shouldn't put extra strain on the on the three lane customs house. That one is already quite busy. We've earned a little bit of our loan back. Can repay two of them. We'll keep a hundred thousand in case we do another fuel import. Although I would need more than a hundred thousand for fuel right now. How's the fuel price? I'm interested. Fuel price is still below 200, so I think the oil export strategy is working really well. Keeping the fuel price down by oil exports rather than refining and producing it domestically. It will rise at some point, but that's probably due to inflation at that at that point. I wonder if it will be able to deconstruct everything. Or if it will demolish the first train lines and then not have access anymore. I guess. It might stand here and demolish everything from that side. The farm and the silo have already been raised to the ground. Currently hauling all of the waste away. It's also giving us a little bit of money back, which is nice. Let's already add the vehicles. At least like what I said, five tractors, seven harvesters, I think. Uh, that's not... Oh, well, I guess we can afford it. That's the wrong one. Seven harvesters. Five tractors. And then a bunch of trucks. Guess that's that's gonna be it. What we're gonna pay for now? So let's start our coal exports and earn a little bit more money, maybe. And wait for the second rail line to be built, though. The first one, the right side, is for getting 
to the export area, the other side is for getting to the refueling station. So I also need a police station, I think. Can also be central. Could also be next to the platform here, I guess. It's more central to the complete area. Also need the fire station. Maybe here. Doesn't need to be in walking distance of houses, and they will be. So, a secret police is also going to be necessary. And a small one. This will look like a large town, but I think it'll be actually a smaller one. Also needs to be in walking distance. This is 350 people. This is more than enough for the university. But then we need more houses for um, the other facilities. them to be connected by footpaths to the side or the road. I think probably the road, if it's facing the road already. But I'll probably put them in place after the main road has been built, so the houses will be built last. Also need a waste collection point for this area because um, clinics are kind of scary. And all of this area will be residential with the potential for another shopping center in the top right wedge. Duplicating the facilities we have, like we could have another clinic, we could have another school, kindergarten in this area. This area could grow. I don't think they would be able to walk to the um, train station, but if they walk to the bus platform and they can't find anything, we could tell them to then walk to the train station. Or have a bus run back and forth, based on what they need. I do have to set up uh, storage nearby and bring the construct construction materials in, before I actually start building any of that, I think. Hmm, I guess it's not that far away from Zedrov. But yeah, I still have to do a little bit more planning. Right now we're gonna see if the coal ore export with one train is sufficient. Or if I need to have two trains, or if I need to turn everything into coal first. This is only running at less than a quarter of capacity. And it's making 150 tons per day. Why did you... Mm. Okay, you know what? Back to the depot. I'm sorry, I thought you were um, smart enough. Alright. So, the order will be you go here, and then I will remove that waypoint. That should put you into the right lane. 
I guess I could also tell you to go to the customs house first, that will probably be easier. And you are already on the correct lane. Plus you have a full train load right now. Customs house. And once you're in the custom... I guess when you come back it could be a problem. Because if you come back after refueling, you would be on the wrong lane again. Ah, oh, that would be annoying. Does that mean I have to build an end station for you here? So you can drive out, refuel and drive back, back and forth all the way. Probably, that would ensure that, but let's see, let's see how efficient it is. Because I think we might be outproducing that train capacity as well. And if that's the case, then we will have to make coal out of coal ore. That reduces the amount of resources we get by about half. 210 coal ore into 120 coal. We can start with one facility, but eventually we might have to build a second or third one. And they don't need a lot of workers, we just have to figure out how we get them in here, space-wise. Maybe the footpath can be changed a little bit. They also make some pollution. Okay, let's check what our train does now, when it loads 660 tons, how fast this is like produced again. If this can keep up, then I will just make an end station for now. And I think it can. It's unloading slower than it's being produced though, I think. Mm, maybe similar speed. But I think, yeah, it, it, I, it looks like it can keep up. It's at 350 now. It should probably still make a coal ore processing plant. need a road connection. We'll have to move the footpath to get that in place here. Hmm. And the road connection is opposite the side of the import. I guess I could also have them over here since we have 250 meters of walking distance. So we could have three facilities on this side. Train is heading back and it's already run full. Yeah, we'll have to put coal ore processing in place. This will make a little bit of money, but it will get stuck again, I think. I don't think there's a way to add an optional signal. I guess we could say this signal after you come back from the customs house. So it will drive back to this lane and then turn around and go into... Stay inside the right lane. Construction train waiting for too long. Probably demolition work, I would assume. Mm, doesn't look like it. Then the other option is over here. Guess they waited for each other a little bit, sure. So coal ore processing. 150 tons right now at a quarter 
efficiency. So we have four times that, which would mean 600 tons, which would mean three processing facilities at the current productivity. But even if productivity changes, the other facilities I think are able to also keep up. So we need to somehow get three coal ore processing plants in this. then not die to pollution. That would also be helpful. We have to get a conveyor going diagonally here and then it can feed into all of them. They're slightly staggered. Oh, they're staggering the wrong way. The road is in the way. So little space in this area. Hmm, I have to think about that. Wait, where? Okay, you finished unloading. So you should now go back here. And turn around, yes. So this works at least. Um, well, if it would load coal or... Seems like it does not like to do that. Why is that? Hmm, okay, so it doesn't work. Then, what if I told you to use this waypoint and then this waypoint. That crashes the game. <clears throat> Interesting. If I can reproduce that, I will probably have to send a report for that. Let's try once and see if it happens again. Last save was four minutes ago. I don't think I did anything of noteworthy relevance. Just trying to get stuff to maybe work. Okay, so you already have the waypoint. You are unloading right now. We are going to get the camera here. And say save and see if it crashes. then go back to our other save so we don't overwrite anything. So what I wanted to do was from this waypoint add a waypoint here and then tell the train to go to that waypoint after it has finished unloading I guess. See what happens. Hmm. This time it works fine. Will it load though? Probably not. It's already question marked. Oh no, it loads this time. So I guess maybe this will work for us for now. Guess we'll let it run.
I don't think I have the room for coal ore processing facilities here, but I might have to make room for them. So we might have to move the aggregate storage and put it closer over here. Might also have to move the loading platform and... Oh, that's gonna be annoying. But unfortunately the crash wasn't reproducible, didn't happen again. Maybe I can try it again later. Over here... What's, what's missing? We need sporting facilities, so... Probably an indoor pool in the middle. Next to the cafe. We have the pub plant, which is a cafe. What else? Cinema, culture. Also up here. We still need electricity, water and sewage that can be put on the outside. The micro districts that I saw had like all of the other buildings I think strewn around the outside of the micro district itself, but I'm going to put them on the inside. Let's see how far water and sewage actually reaches. Oh cool. We might be able to cover everything with one tank, but it might also not be enough for the whole area. We'll see. And electricity. I don't know how this is going to look. We haven't even flattened out the other side of the square. The lower square.
Okay, that'll do. And over here... I started placing buildings in this area because I don't think I will flatten this out. But since this is going to hold more residential buildings, we did flatten this, I guess. This is more of a utility and... Um, not commercial, but... A district for buildings we need, but don't really belong to anyone. Technical services, the repair facility for construction maintenance, stuff like that. Stop telling me about Sejo heating plant, it should be fine. see this being an issue. We don't have any vehicle to be scrapped anymore. Um, instead of repaying the loan, I think I'm going to replace one of our trains. Can I do another one? Is that 74,000? Oh, it doesn't allow me to click. Why not? Maybe because this is currently on a on a route, might have to replace that manually. Seven point two years versus four point something. Okay, now I told you to be replaced. Still doesn't happen. I don't know how the replacement tool would do it for trains assigned to lines. Well, it's probably a good idea to send you to the depot and replace you manually, or just let you run. I mean, you're not that old yet. We'll buy some new trains and just exchange the engine. I could also have more residential buildings on the inside, but I think that would take away from the greenery area here, probably. I'm not sure. Maybe I can move this all a little bit closer to the edge to make that the end point here.
How can we do that? Probably an asphalt road here. To let people walk along the asphalt road also. I think this will do for the first part of the residential area. This area down here isn't really necessary. We have electricity. What we do need is a transformer though. Probably multiple for this K for this area. Um, we will start out with one for now. Next to the entrance of the town area. There will be a high voltage switch that then leads into the transformer. Giving us the option to have multiple connections. Maybe I'll turn this one so it faces towards the town and it's going to be easier to hook up. Seems like maybe smart idea. That reminds me I also still need the fire station. Station, we have a secret police, we also need a fire station. I think we're gonna go with the default one. The large one is definitely overkill. Should be in walking distance of everything. There will be footpaths that can come down from here. It's like 200 meters, so up here should not be more than 300 meters really. This has water, sewage and electricity all the way around. Electricity is a little bit dicey, but it is still available here. And the last thing we need is um, heating. I think I was going to say a small heating plant should be enough. But it's uh, quite a large area. And I think a small heating plant or a normal heating plant don't have that much range. Plus they generate pollution, so this might be the case again uh, in, in favor of an actual, actual heat exchanger.
so that's like the upper area. The heating plant could also be dealt with from workers from Sezhov if we have any access, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I do think a large heating plant is in order. Um, and I also kind of think that if we do put a large heating plant down, then I guess we could also share the load between Sezhov and that town and put a heat exchanger here as well. Only problem is of course the cost and steel for the heating pipes. We are now loan free. And that's quite good. Also need about think about something on this side, probably more residential buildings of a different type. These ones could probably fit in here. Two of them. Might have to flatten the area out a little bit more to make that look proper. But there's room for, or I guess we could put us another individual building like these in the middle. But that would require them to be symmetrical, otherwise it looks a little bit weird. That one is symmetrical. We'll see. So there's probably going to be a bus stop on the outskirts, which might have walking distance to the scrapping facility. Probably not, um, but it's just going to be a bus stop for the heating plant, really. And maybe we can put it in walking distance of this bus stop. Hmm, seems a little bit close if we are going to have residential buildings on this side. That's not going to work. I want at least to be 500 meters away from the residential residences, so it's going to be on this side here. The wind is going to blow towards the border, which is over there, so that'll also be fine. And there is a potential for a coal storage here. stop. Only ready for the heating plant. Also we'll need electricity, water and sewage and probably a technical service to deal with the deliveries since it's getting quite a bit far away from the customs house we might have to build a water tower and could also do water treatment provide running water but i think just a water tower and deliver it by truck from closer by so a water loading unloading facility to handle that And a heating pipe. But that's the least problem, I think.
don't really have to worry about the length of the heating pipe, except for resource cost. And I guess slightly longer heating pipes um, probably drain heat a little bit faster. I wonder if I should put the heating pipe slightly below ground. I mean, it is already below ground, but like at the most, at the lowest. The, um, it's not submersion, I don't know what it's called. At the lowest level that we could put it at. Oh no, not that bug. Something like that. Then other heating pipes can follow the lead. I don't think there's going to be other heating pipes, but yeah, I think the area warrants its own heating plant. This is pretty close to the town. Might have to move it away further. If we're going to have residences over here. I guess they are um, 500 meters ish away. So it's probably going to be fine. Looks like they're already starting construction, so really they should be doing the roads first. But since the heating pipe is um, is not a building per se, so they are thinking about building that one. I will tell them to build the roads up to asphalt for the main roads, that is. I think the road going here towards the bus stop is also going to be asphalt. And then the road down, probably too. And the road going to the train station, probably too. Uh, this one. This diagonal one. We'll let them build that road network. The other road will probably have to deal with gravel, but that's going to take a while. 
I don't want to set up any dirt roads to make things a little bit faster. I don't think we have the vehicles for that. We don't have that many road construction vehicles. Speaking of which, I could probably add another truck and another roller if I wanted to. I think paver would be more important though. No, I'm going to add another roller and another truck. MAZ. MZ504, I mean. That'll deal with that. Looks like the rail demolition is making good progress. Everything over here has been cleared. has begun with the new farm. So much oil. Okay, now you're stuck. Because you refueled and then you're trying to go for a signal, I guess. Which is that one. Let's remove that one again. I want to see what happens if you skip all of that. Well, I guess. Just go load. Go your normal route. Yeah, it can't go to that signal because it's only available from the other direction. So it went to refuel, but when it came back, this one was not accessible. Let's see if it does load properly this time, or if it gets stuck again. This area was not intended to be coal processing as well. Coal processing requires quite the space. I mean, in case of real emergency, we could have the coal ore processing over here by routing it with a conveyor and then routing it back. But I would feel unfortunate if we had to do that, spending that much on conveyors. I mean, this is our first coal mine. It's probably not going to run at full efficiency ever. This is going to be the most, well, close to the most it will run at. 300. So two coal ore processing facilities should be enough. I didn't, I don't intend to grow this area to run the coal mine at full capacity. It would be overkill. Are you going to load? No. Well then we're going to remove that waypoint as well and just see what you do on refueling, I guess. No one else is going to use the station anyway right now, so might as well just block the other lanes. I'll be okay. So two coal ore processing plants at most. 200 tons. That would be one coal ore processing plant if it's 200 tons. And we don't have much room for... Well, I guess we do have a decent chunk of room for more population. But I think one coal ore processing plant is what I can afford right now. Space-wise. 
And with more efficiency, we're also going to have a little bit more throughput, I think. So we will tear down the conveyor, hook it up directly, and then hook it up into the storage. Okay, let's do that. Get rid of the conveyor. The coal mine will continue to employ people because otherwise they're going to be unemployed and cranky. It's just gonna. I'm just gonna have to wait. And that's the task for the demolition office. Which has sent the excavator out, I think. Yes. So one coal ore processing facility. Always having enough coal ore, maybe sometimes a little bit too much. But the storage itself will then migrate over to coal once it's empty. And the train will also have to migrate over. And then the single train should probably be able to keep up with the throughput. And if we have coal on the network, we can also use it ourselves instead of importing coal. With the new smaller unloading stations, that's going to be very nice and easy to do, I think. Game crashed on saving. Well, that's unfortunate. <sighs> I was going to make a screenshot because the conveyor should probably not, uh, the excavator should probably not be standing in the middle of the conveyor. Lost another four minutes. That's fine. Only oh, I can't load the save anymore. My game might be corrupted. This might be an early end to the stream. Let's see if one of them is recoverable. So, <clears throat> the one from 2110. That's 10 minutes ago. Also crashes. Well then, I have to roll back to the manual save that I did and if that one doesn't load then well we'll have to break and have to put a break into the series the last manual save was half an hour ago let me try the last auto save the well I guess it's only 10 minutes let's try the last proper save okay that one still works I don't think we lost much. I assume. I did remove the waypoint. I have to be really careful about messing with my save right now. We did want to remove the conveyor. Did I do anything else over here? Probably the heating pipe and stuff. Uh, yep, all the heating, all the flattening, well, gotta redo that again. I wonder what caused the issue. I wonder if it has anything to do with my coal ore train. Or is it because I triggered a vehicle replacement for one of the 
trains. Guess, guess we're going to find out. I will save and load before the end of the stream. Just to see if it happens again. Oh, also all the roads are now not asphalt anymore. Maybe I should start with the roads first before putting in all the intersections with other buildings. Yeah, let's work on the roads. We can already do that. Well, there's not too many intersections here. That's gonna go. That needs to be a bridge anyway. Hmm. I guess maybe the whole block could be asphalt. Doesn't really hurt that much. Okay. Let them build on that. I'll redo the the heating plant setup at a later time. Can then also maybe leave a little bit more room between the town and the heating plant. Looks like the conveyor almost got deconstructed. to go away and then we can put in the coal ore processing plant. Maybe plan it for two coal ore processing plants just in case. Maybe it was related to the rail deconstruction. Let me oh, auto save. Let me drop a manual save right here. Just in case. And then overwrite our low text crawl but as a new save because Oh f I forgot to write the I forgot to write the number behind it. And when I clicked enter, it crashed. Uh, let's see. Load. That's, that's weird. Not a series one. That's not what I wanted. Last autosave. 26. It's my, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I know what the issue is. Uh, my disk is full, apparently. And that's why it's crashing. So, let me find something that I can remove before I attempt to do anything else. Save games are getting a little bit large, I guess. I also downloaded a game that was about 100 gigabytes. Um... I don't know. What can I remove? Nothing. Sorry 
about that. Oh. <coughs> I guess... I guess I can unsubscribe from a few mods. That's like... A lot. So you have to sit here for now, but... This could corrupt stuff if I don't change it right now. So this is like the whole testing stuff. Um, yeah, I have to do that. Unsubscribe from all. Let's see if that frees up a lot of space. Not yet. I will free up the space manually. Okay. That didn't free up anything. Annoying. Okay, that freed up some. Let's try again that save. And try to override it with a correct save, with a correct save name, before anything else happens. So I guess it crashed because I had like. I was running out of disk space. Yep, that works fine. Okay, keep going. That was a little bit scary, but it seems like the crashes are unrelated to the game. It might have just been me slowly running full on disk space for the game, because I've been making so many different saves. Uh, let me see if I can free up something else. Soviet Republic Media Save. I have a lot of save games. Get rid of all of them, I think. Like the zip save games. Let's do that. No, well, that didn't free up much, but at least we have a little bit. We'll see if it holds. Rail demolition is really slow. They're waiting for the construction waste to be hauled away. Also building the road network. So I was saying that 500 meters from the residential area. So I guess we'll put the heating plant over here slightly further away than I did last time. With the ability to have an aggregate storage. But I will do the connections next time again. Just make sure that we can fit an aggregate storage here. And maybe a conveyor. And maybe even an unloading platform for the train. A thousand kilograms is a lot. A thousand tons, I mean. Well, would be possible. Have that on this side, unloading for coal. But this was like the main point for the... For the junction so I might have to reconsider and put the heating plant over on this side and I don't know or put the heating plant all the way over there further away in this direction but the the heat exchanger over here I think was in the correct place that made 
a lot of sense to have it here. And then we have a footpath that defines this area. Maybe I can have that one. No. Need to move it out a little bit further. All of the houses are also gone, I just noticed. to be here. One further over. And then this needs to be slightly less long. And then we have our houses again along this side, eventually. We'll let this get constructed for now, and don't touch it. to transport away. Is there only one truck coming here right now? Oh, the other ones might be... No, they shouldn't have anything else to do. It's all... It's all demolition office. Oh, that... Okay. They have other stuff to do. They're still hauling uh, materials away from the farm. Busy with that as well. Yeah, that'll take a while. One more export, and then you're gonna wait here until we have coal, and then you're gonna handle coal instead. Coal should be much easier to handle. And this is full of mixed waste. You can tell it to have dedicated storage for construction waste. There's a lot of that in here, and they should recycle that because because it is an industry. But we do have to handle it with a distribution office. So I guess the town distribution office will get its own dump truck. Uh, sorry, waste truck. Gonna load anything and just sell it. Construction waste and mixed waste. Once the truck is here, we can select it. start producing construction waste again when we start mining again. Right now it's only making biological waste and burnable waste because there's only people in here not doing anything. So the industry itself is not making a lot of pollution right now. Can 
repay the loan again. So we got a few materials out of here. Probably already transported to our repair facility. I don't really have anything to... Do I have anything to recycle right now? We don't have a more modern waste, uh, waste vehicle. We could recycle all of the RTO Lux buses, which are currently at 11 years. Sure. Let's recycle that one. Dump truck. Band is fine. Get rid of one of these. Can I get rid of all of them now? Yes, cool. Let's reorder them, but I can get rid of most of them now. We only have one modern one right now. Get rid of the 13 year old ones. Also 13. Those are trucks transporting coal to the heating plant it looks like. So distribution of this kind of stuff. I did spend a lot of money on vehicle replacements, but the yeah the manual the money calculation seems off. Let me do the flattening of the area again. to naturally come in here. Remove that. Flatten over here. this area out. We'll leave this as is because it's going to transition into the unflattened area. And that should make this nice and flat for residential buildings. Probably too flat and boring but we'll see. Next time I probably have to get in here with the bulldozers and excavators and flatten everything before I even start thinking about doing a layout. Hmm. 
still wonder why it says this is corrupted, but... Well, I guess that one's... Ah, it says test crash, but it says not a series. Uh, yeah, I guess it overrode some of that save game. Oh well. That was my tourism run, I think. Was it? I don't remember. Not a series. Yeah, I think it was the one before this. Two more deliveries of waste away from here, and then we can put in the coal ore processing plant. How's the secret police doing anyway? I haven't looked at that. It is running with a full complement of workers. We do know most of their loyalty, but not really. I guess we don't have monitoring equipment yet, so they're probably not that efficient, so... Let's allow more people to work in here. Make sure we know the loyalty of everyone. We will restrict government loyalty if we can. We can't. We will restrict government loyalty for the officials, but not for the students. How many university educated people do we have? 40. But we have had a lot of people waiting here to study. So let's increase the amount of people working in here. in the area could be useful. Maybe we can set up some smaller buildings over here. It is getting quite crowded though. Quite cramped. like a little bit too much. Maybe one building will be acceptable but I don't want to overdo it here so we'll get one of the smaller ones and place it in here. And then we still have the option of, uh, I guess, a few more residential buildings up on this ridge. Well, not ridge, but um, hillside. Is the demolition done now? Looks like it. We are going to eyeball the potential of two of these. So there 
should be enough room for a second one here. We'll get a conveyor in place. I'm not sure about walking distances yet. We will worry about that later. That would deal with the coal ore processing from that side. This would definitely be in walking distance of everything. And then the other thing would be another plant from here. Feeding from this side into the coal storage from over here. And then there's a footpath on the upper right side of the facility. Once we have an excavator here we can flatten this out and should be able to build that but we can start with one facility for now so the road connection will have to go through that footpath i guess well, i guess we can fit it down here coal ore into coal. The train did its last export, so next one will be coal. And then we have to think about where to store it for domestic use. So there will be a storage somewhere for unloading. Maybe next to the fuel maybe next to the recycling facility just just a storage point for coal that we can supply with coal from the facility with a distribution office and then run it this way why are you not waiting it says wait until loaded If you're gonna drive around and waste fuel, then I'm gonna send it, send you back to the depot, I think. Until we are actually making coal. If we're making coal, we might also be able to just run you from the distribution office again. Okay, we're not doing anything right now. Let's go back to the depot, please. Turn around. We'll set a free road depot here, if I don't have one already, it doesn't look like it. And get an excavator to place the second coal or processing facility down. Should be possible getting a footpath through here, hooking the other one up as well, so it is in walking distance. Even if it's just in walking distance of the bus stop, I think that would also be enough. There's a lot of people already walk, uh, waiting at the bus stop, and they would then also feed into the second processing plant. And since loyalty boosting buildings are apparently so special and popular with the people, we'll get a statue for you guys over here. Somehow. Oh, 
How's the maintenance office doing? Only one maintenance task right now, so everything is fine. Ambulance not arrived in all Sanadeni. Do we really have too many... Oh. You seem a bit busy. Do we have uh, an epidemic? No. I think medical university will be good for us. I think our university education in this area has been drastically reduced quite a bit. Let's lower the required government loyalty down and let more people study and then increase that again. I think they are letting people study from other areas that don't have, well, that already got it done but the local people didn't go through for some reason. Okay, an excavator is here. I want this to be hooked up in this way. And now suddenly I don't need the excavator anymore. Sure. Maybe I moved it slightly too low. flattened it already for me well let's see if we can get the footpath hooking up should go through here but that's too low can go through here I don't know if that's going to be in range though in range of the bus stop it will be enough it's in range of the bus stop so this will work and then we're going to make we're going to make coal instead of coal ore at the current throughput rate we're gonna have enough coal ore processing plants and if our population goes up slightly we will also have enough coal ore to fill, um, feed two coal ore processing plants with almost enough resources. I guess it probably flattened when I clicked since I have the excavator here. Well, keep building all of that. And I guess we're also gonna hook you up. Turn that one around so I don't have to interrupt the the people walking into the coal mine right now because that could cause a lot of unemployment and the unhappiness. Instead we'll have a, a road go around here. Slightly longer distance for the fire engines potentially but I think it will be fine. or oil okay we're not producing faster than we're exporting which is good I also need to hook up the the new the new silo at some point before it runs full and we're still waiting on waste to be transported away from the Royal Construction Office. I should set up a distribution office on that. 
just taking care of that waste. Because whenever it happens, it's kinda slow. There should be still one distribution office handling that, but it looks like none is assigned right now. Also, the storage. Uh, 60. No. 2, 4, 2, 2. Our distribution office handling solid materials, mm -hmm. open hull materials, also needs to deliver into the into the rail construction office. No more direct deliveries into the rail construction office. But yeah, for the waste material, I don't think. The only one I can think of is these, I guess. So we're gonna put you to work. We're gonna load from here anything you have, and you're just gonna sell it at the border. Mixed waste, constructions, metal, scrap, aluminum. And we're gonna copy those tasks mm -hmm. onto the other one as well. Three full containers waiting to be transported right now, three trucks on their way. And then the rail demolition should continue again. I think that was holding it up. Construction is going to take long for all of this. I hope. Water, sewage, electricity, all in place. Just need the road connections and get going. And yeah, they can send a lot of workers onto these construction sites. That is a okay with me. Since nothing is going to work until they are done anyway. Well, I think they are avoiding it. Are they? No. Currently no road access, so the construction hasn't started yet. We'll have to wait for the gravel road to finish construction and then we can start it. Then people should also be able to move in. Road construction is slowly pro progressing towards Frostbreen. And yeah, I'll, we'll let the infrastructure get set up first and then we redo the planning the time that we lost, unfortunately. That should be fine. Anyway, I think I'm going to take a break now for today. It's been quite a long day. Unfortunate about the restart, but what can you do? This is still an internal testing. And these things are to be expected. Much better for them to happen now than when the version gets released. But even if the version is released, it is still in a testing branch after that. So. Make sure to stay safe with your safe games and to keep a backup copy and save often and probably save into 
multiple safe slots. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow doing more workers and resources with the waste management update as a preview. And until then, wish you a good weekend. All the best to you. And as always, maybe I'll see you next time. <laughs>